This week, for you Pixel 7, 7 Pro, as well as you brand new 7A users, I thought I'll put together a quick guide on how you can customize your always on displays on your brand new devices. Now hold up, before we jump right into it, for those of you who haven't already, make sure you check out last year's video on how you can do exactly the same thing on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro using a couple different alternative apps. So if you guys are after some lightweight alternatives, make sure you check out that video as well. But here right now, we're going to check out one singular app which is going to drastically change up your always on displays, taking it from the boring stock look to something like this, a truly customizable always on display. So now, as well as being able to personalize your home screens, you can also add a little bit of extra spice to your idle displays, picking from a multitude of clock faces or even replacing it with a cute little animation. But that's not all, anytime you receive a notification, you'll easily be able to tell due to this fully customizable light show. It's definitely quite unique. And if you're still not sold on it yet, how about some quick access music controls? So anytime you're playing music, you'll easily be able to control it without even unlocking or waking up your phones. Now that for one is definitely pretty awesome. Now hold up, before we get started, just to make things a little bit clearer, this isn't going to add native customization to your phone's always on display settings like the app Good Look does to the Samsung phones because sadly that's only something that Google can add in themselves. But rather, consider this more of a workaround to add in a higher level of customization. Simply put, we're going to replace our stock built-in always on displays with an alternative one. So on that note, we're going to start things off by disabling the native one. For this, just head over to your phone settings section and under display, you're going to find the lock screen option. Now here, just simply toggle off the always show time and info as well as the wake screen or notification. And that's it, our phone is now ready for the replacement app. But before we look at it, as a quick side note, for those of you interested in grabbing these awesome live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own custom creation app, Epic Live Wallpapers, which I'm going to link down in the video description below. And of course, if you guys want to see more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Now back to the video at hand, let's grab ourselves the always on display app, AOA, which is available free straight from the Play Store. And once installed, make sure to allow it all of the permissions that it needs in order to work correctly on your phone. Now as for the app itself, it's actually broken down into various different elements, with the top half being some quick overall customizations, such as adding in animated stickers, switching out the clocks, adding in backgrounds, font styles, and even switching up the date style. So for those of you who don't want to get too engrossed in customizing, you can always use these quick options. As for the rest of you, make sure to check out each one of these different sections where you can control things such as adding in fingerprint unlocking, automatic brightness controls, managing how notifications work, the clock face colors, the edge lighting pattern, duration, app shortcuts, gestures, and the list just keeps going on and on. But personally, the main ones that you guys should check out is definitely the music controls, making sure that it's turned on. The power saving options where you can play around with a couple different settings to extend your battery as long as possible and it goes without saying the color section to customize the always on display as well but the main area that you do want to make sure you visit is the settings option here make sure that the clock movement is set to either jump or slide otherwise you are going to risk getting screen burn so i highly recommend you guys use this function as well as if you guys wanted the timeout option and even pocket mode and of course make sure it's set to start after your screen locks immediately now majority of the app is totally free however some elements are behind a paywall however you can always grab them by simply watching an ad now personally speaking my favorite animation is definitely this cutesy squid character and if that wasn't for you why not check out some animated clocks now before you leave as a final tip so make sure you guys ain't doubling up on your notifications. I highly recommend that you guys head over to your phone settings, head into the app's info section and under notifications, we want to find incoming messages. Here, make sure to toggle off the pop on screen option. And just like that, you've gotten rid of those double notifications. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.